Patreon member shout out. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi update video stream interview. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If not welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello, Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Um, a couple, at least one surprise guest today. Um, but before they get here, I did want to go over a couple of little things. You do have a um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was the polygon version of omi and what you have to do in order to go get it so the polygon version of omi is a little confusing to try to get you have to get a metamask wallet which is fine you know with the ethereum network and let's say you have you know 500 omi you know they, they go right through it there you connect with the bridge ui so that's the html page that's through metamask uh if you don't know metamask is very easy to download i'll just do a quick little uh Quick little blurb here on where you have to go uh, because there's your there's your wallet that holds all your NFTs and then there's a browser that you can go and search stuff. You'd have to search this in the browser. Same way as you could do for fiches like Fiche Arena, uh, which is really fun. All you do is you go to the browser over there and then you can be able to go and pick. Um... Oh, hey, there's the fiches. You can pick whatever. You can go to like OpenSea, features.com. Again, there is a browser in there. Anywho, uh, so once you do that, you transfer the token to an OMI bridge contract. So you take your OMI, you put that to an OMI bridge contract, uh, and it and it goes to a node, which is a server of uh, tracking the transaction. It goes to something called MongoDB storage, which uh, that, that stores the transactions. And then it goes to an admin panel. After the admin panel, you send that same token to a user address, and basically it turns into uh, it turns into Polygon version of Omi down there, and then the transaction on the poly on the uh, Polygon network, you view the balance of the Polygon network, and you can use that to purchase uh, the Epico NFTs. Now, you don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, you can just play the game and earn Epico gold or Epico coins that way. Uh, but in case you didn't want to, you just want to start out ahead. 100% can do that. Well, hello, everybody. Dan Marquez, BB Darklink, Dan Marquez again, and Smooches. Oh, yes. Yeah, so if y'all hit that like button, that's going to be great. We have the first guest coming in about 15 minutes. So I'll just go over the normal talk in which we want to do um, before that. Let me go to my channel. And on my channel, what I want to do is I want to go to my videos. I want to view. The, oh, no. I'm not, e I'm not even live yet, according to this. Oh, no. Here we go. Everyone can smash that like button. That would be super great. Super exciting. Um, <laughs> what's up, Real Talk? See more of you than my friends in real life. Yeah, I I see a lot more of you guys than I do my friends or my my loved ones in real life. But you are my loved ones. So Benjamin, all chat gaming. So yeah, it's really complicated uh, to try to go and get those Epico Regal uh, coins. And then once you get that... Uh, you know, you can purchase those NFTs, you can purchase the coins, you can purchase whatever you want. Um, I might just do that once. I might just put like, I don't know, 100,000, a couple hundred thousand OMI in there. Uh, give, <laughs> uh, can we get OMI from... So you will be able to get OMI from the game. I, It's on their white paper, I think. Let's let's go to Epico. There you go. Or, or it's on their... Wait, it's over. Yep, yep, yep. Um, a lot of it does have to do with betting, like wagering, like they have in the fiches. Yeah, Epico Regal, yep. Marketplace, token packages, heroes, events. Okay, Omi Burn. As an added bonus for Omi token holders, 10% of all Omi collected on the marketplace will also return to the reserve wallet, so you consider that burned. Um, partners. Yeah, I this isn't the the same one. There is a okay play to earn. Maybe this is it. Okay, cancel. Open on Chrome. 
Oh, uh, okay. So this this is not this is not doing a thing right now. I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to download it. I'll download the white paper and I'll get that to you. Nope. Nope, this is this is not downloading for me. So if you if you go and you download the epicoregal.com. Uh, let me see where it is here. It was from a few days ago. Assets PDF white paper. You can go and take a look. I, I, I don't have it with me. It won't let me download it for, for whatever reason. But yes, you can you can earn Omi in there. Which is super stoned. <laughs> what up, Bill Gardner? How's it going? Um, it's going to crash and you think Omi going to drop below point. I mean, is it is it crashing or is it just... You know, losing steam from yesterday because we were up like five percent yesterday uh, after the news the Fed hike came out and oh all right yeah now we we got oh yeah hiccups we are down to a, a almost right where we were we're a little before then uh, yesterday at around two you know we we really we shot up five percent we lost all of that and then we lost even more um, so we were. So from yesterday, from that spike at 39.8, we're now at 36.9, so almost down 2K. Um, yeah, if that happens, I, I think we very well could see, you know, below 0 0.002. I hope so. I mean, that'd be a good burn. That'd be a good way to accumulate. Uh, and I can't wait to to get our first whale on. They'll be in and, oh, yeah, yeah. Only do be going down, though. So, you know, feel, say, feel saying that there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it? That OMI is is different than Bitcoin, but it still follows the same thing. Bear market's a bear market. Like like no one's safe. It, it doesn't doesn't matter. Um, as you could tell, almost always. Yesterday was like a an unnatural phenomenon. Typically, always there is like fifty million in sell volume um, on there, and you know, I mean, there's people buying it up. You know, you got buy orders for you know several million each, which which again is not crazy amount. Um, Considering the a couple million is, is like five or six grand, so so there's really not a lot here. Uh, we would need we would need yeah, like I said, the exchanges and this, but yeah, th this could go to point zero zero one four below that. I hope it goes below that because they're doing Omi to NFT. Once we get those burns, oh, from circular, so I, I can't wait, can't heck and wait, man. I will download the white paper. Oh, my man, thank you. Got to hope it crashes. Got to buy another 300k to reach two million. Yeah, I hope so as well. Um, you know, right now it'd be like 630, 650. You know, have that. That's how much you would need to to get that. Um, but if it goes down. Could you imagine being able to get a million Omi for like 1500 bucks? <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. That'd be so cool. Uh, so something else I wanted to go over before we get some guests here is that uh, Binance will invest 500 million dollars together with Elon Musk to acquire Twitter. So they are doing slow but steady things. But if Binance is going to be an investor in Twitter, then you definitely have a more friendlier crypto. You definitely, or you definitely have a more friendlier platform for crypto. Um, Strange Tales one ten the new MC one. It's it's an amazing comic. Um, you know, getting that first appearance of Doctor Strange. It's worth tens of thousands of dollars in the real world. I would say, I wouldn't say it's a new MC1. There's only one MC1, but that this is something that I'm really excited for tomorrow. Um, Ray Fixie also tweets, um, the AP Secret Rare Ride, the lightning board in the market at VV Official and floor is $2,600. He said, that's a heckin' joke. Someone must be smoking too much Jamaica weeds. If you cannot put better value on your NFT, then you shouldn't be in the first place. Damn, he's going savage on that. Right. And Star Wars, not. yes, yes, I did. Um, I have a bunch of friends trying to go for that comic. Uh, I don't know what that person is going to actually sell for. It's in the market for like a million gems. No one's going to pay that. Um, but people are people are trying to get that. Um, again, a, a good amount of my friends are as well. I would say, I don't know, somewhere in the five-figure range. I, I, I don't think that would sell for 100K. 
Um, I also think that that person should definitely sell now before the secret rares take a dump. Because, I mean, actually, you had that did fix during the night. During the night, I got to get off the Wi Fi for this. Um, during the night, you had them fix that problem we had yesterday. Yesterday, we had a problem with people were able to buy stuff off the market, but they were not able to sell stuff uh, on that market if they bought it. So I think that was the thing with Immutable X. Um, but now that problem's fixed, most likely things are going to start going down. Um, let's see. Let's see what we're at. I think we were at like 1300 yesterday. And, and we're down 30%. We're down to about 1000 for the floor. Um, which, which again, is this is before any big major announcements. Tales of Suspense is going to be great. Can't wait to get that comic. Um, but now it's just that the person that holds that secret rare, you know, number 1977, has less leverage because the the floor of that is is, is less now. It's 30 percent less. So, um, I mean, either way, that shouldn't that doesn't typically doesn't affect grails. Um, you know, even like in Pokemon, you know, and general market is down. Trophies aren't really touched. Trophies are the ones that go and, and consistently have, you know, that hot, that retains their value really well. You haven't really seen that so much in. Uh, in in VV because Vivi's still shuffling, you know, around. It, it's going from people that are new, people that are just trying to flip, and it, and it's going towards people that you know have money and wouldn't need to sell, regardless of the climate that they're in. They don't have to sell to grow their collection. They could just go and just add more money, and that's how they grow their collection. So, yeah, um, five hundred thousand more to re three million Omi. Nice, nice. You can you'll you'll be able to get it. You'll be able to get it. I hopefully before the end of the month. So, Russia didn't someone sell in some ticket for five k? I don't. If they did, I think that was a mistake. I think they could have gotten a lot more. Uh, it was as difficult. Omi or collectibles, both. So, I I love both of these. It's just you know, long term, I I fully expect I fully expect Omi to outperform almost anything. But but yeah, short term collectibles is probably the way to go. Um, yeah, short, short term, I see the, a lot of these as, as a good way to go. Marvel's Pack says, if Strange Tales 110 goes for less than Star Wars, the comic people aren't even close to me. They're, they're not. They, they have a couple people that are on, but there's you know, there's only so many people like Comics and Crypto or like Sleeping Comics that that would appreciate you, you know, what, what is being brought to right now on Vivi. And, and even the comic people in the real world that can appreciate that, they're not people that can appreciate that a lot of them are just they don't like nfts as that threatens their physical business although not really they think it does because they haven't looked into it the, the best advice i could ever give someone is don't let technology pass you by like don't like any new technology any new vertical integration of new things there's opportunity there and other people other people are going to seize it other people are going to take that opportunity and if you don't that's it's on you can't can't fall behind I can have the drop, not too smart. Um, I mean, for long term, it's fine. You know, like I, I, I expect these prices to go a little lower. Actually, let's see what the what the common is right now. I'm curious to see what that is. Because that was up to like forty five dollars yesterday, down to thirty eight now. Um, so not as big of a drop off, not too bad. Let's see, uncommon, uncommon is a really cool poster like thing. Fifty four, ultra rare, two sixty eight. Rares seventy three, and get get all this for about fifteen hundred. Not bad. Well, hello, there. hello there, General Kurobi. Um, there was this one girl I saw on TikTok that um, she was in like a Hobby Lobby or something, and she was she just said like an accident, like oh hello there, like you know she turned the corner and someone was there, and she said like if. If the guy had responded, General Kenobi, that she would have like rode him in the car. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Um, so I, whenever somebody says hello there, I always try to make it a point to say General Kenobi. Um, not that I see you that way. I don't. Know. I said to Tony Rio, that's such a phenomenal piece. Congrats again. Um, what did Tony Rio get? Here, but wait, Tony Rio, are you the one that got that? Are you? Are you? Are you the one that got that comic? Um, Super Rosa saw it on Twitter. That guy sold it for 5K. Well, the first person might have sold it for 5K, but there is somebody else that has it now, which again, I don't know why I'd sell it for 5K. Anyway, the person that has it now is fielding a lot of offers. Just says, I should have listened to about uh, taking profit on Ultraman when he was at 3,600. Damn. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. I mean, maybe he'll get a little bit of a bump because you have a, what do you have, 36? I mean, you got the Japanese Discord that's coming on board. So it seems like they're going to go for Asia first. Seems like going to go for Japan first and then bring in China. I can't wait for those memes. Like, no, oh no, China knows you're here. Oh, I love Mulan. Such a good. I, I haven't seen the new remake of Mulan. Um, I, I, a lot of people were upset because there was no Eddie Murphy in there. There's no Mushu. And it's like, no, we just we just need Eddie Murphy just like in a dragon costume. That's all we need. It's like, yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty fun. Michael Stevens, what's up from the UK? Just got back from Doctor Strange 2. Time for some Randy and coffee. Oh, I can't wait. It comes out tonight. I will see it tomorrow. I'll be seeing it with Yostef. Uh, so that'll be pretty fun. Um, I also have so a bunch of podcasts on today. There's a I have a podcast ten, tonight with Dr. Amanda Doran, who's a veterinarian. She's also a witch. So that's going to be really interesting. And then tomorrow, I, I have so many different things, but I have NFT pirates coming on the podcast at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. So that'll be fun as well. Um, yeah. Go back. Um, Marvelous Pack says, Star Wars comics will drop price as soon as people can relist. I mean, they, they can. That, that, was, that was taken care of overnight, so people can relist now. Um, yeah, at, at Michael Stevens, at a scale of like 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being like the best, what do you rate Doctor Strange as? Because he was, uh, I think, on like Rotten Tomatoes, got like a 78, which is really not that good um, for, for, for a Marvel movie anyway. For like, And they were marketing the fudge out of this. Um, but that will be saved for later because we got the whale that everybody knows and loves, Mr. Pat. Say hello to What's, What's going on? How you doing, guys? I am doing okay. Um, I wanted to get into a couple of Wales's minds about, and it's, it's, it's going to be a lot better with you because you're a slightly older whale that has been through the ups and downs and ebbs and flows of the market. Um, what would make you nervous about investing a, because a, you, ha, you have you have invested a, a decent amount into the Akomi ecosystem, whether it's VV or, or Omi. Now, obviously we know that things are going to, um, you know, rebound, but but what does make you nervous? What is something that would make you go, uh-oh? Uh, in, in the entire space or just markets in general? Generally speaking, I, I, I could say um, some kind of a um, neopolitical, geopolitical, you know, event oh, yeah. that, that's, that, that pulls markets down, a, a catastrophic event, um, not apocalypse style, but, but something bad. Uh, that would be that would be pretty bad. Uh, and that, that would pull everything down. Yeah. Outside of that, really just like probably with, with respect to like VV and, and like Omi and going like on, on that trail, I, I, I just say, you know, just kicking the can down the road, more promises that can't be kept. That's probably it. I mean, other than that, I, I like the content that's, you know, being put out is 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 um obviously one of a kind. And um and excuse me and the other uh the other aspect of the you know the supply and demand factor and the, and the way that the uh, tokenomics are laid out i think that'll take care of itself as time goes on so that's not really much of my concern like for that you know and i, I think we have enough uh skin in the game so we can kind of like um you know we can weather the storm a little bit you know um when you're carrying you know uh or up to two million uh, coins sometimes, you know, um, not that you can't, not that you can't weather the storm, but, um, you, you, um, uh, not that you can't weather the storm, but you might not have enough capital in the game that, you know, psychologically, you know, having like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or 2000 bucks, you know, it, it, it's, you know what I mean? It's, scary. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we, we lose obviously right now, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down. Both of us are down. Um, how yeah. much seven hundred thousand dollars? Like, you know, from the from the highs, yeah, that we yeah. were at a half yeah. a million. We just we just lost a half a million, like like in a blink of an eye, and we're in over six hundred k. I mean, it's 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 tough. Listen, look, if you don't have a stomach for it, I always say just get out of the game. I have a lot of experience in um investment, uh, uh you know, ups and downs, so I'm kind of used to the volatility. Um, this is a little more than you know what I'm used to, but uh, I know where it's going, so I'm not worried. Yeah, same. Uh, what do you so there's there's a lot of news that happened yesterday, whether it's on the Akomi side or on like the Fed side. 
Now, they, they did raise rates, which people were expecting. How much do you think that rate hike was already priced in? Because Bitcoin yesterday went up 5% and the markets rallied, you know, like 2 or 3%. But now today, it's like the opposite. You know, Bitcoin's down. You know, it lost all the gains it made yesterday going down even further. What do you make of that? Yeah, so, I mean, I think that I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that um, I have, I mean, look. A half a half a percent. I mean, look, when you're when you're talking 50 basis points, it's probably caked in already. And you got to realize yeah. we had a, we had a couple 800, 900 uh, points on the stock market last yeah. week. So, you, you know, insider information is is it runs rampant. I mean, we, we can't you know that there, there's always uh, something that goes on uh, on the yeah. inside that that causes stuff. But, you know, I mean, on the other hand, I mean, I, I don't think that. Uh, I don't think the markets in general are going to be so uh, uh, taken from it and, and where it's going to be. I think that it's necessary. I'm not going to lie. I think how aggressive it is and how aggressive down the line it becomes is, is a whole nother story. And what really time is going to tell. Uh, I, I, I'm obviously I'm not an expert, uh, you know, uh, TA guy, but the resources that I have, listen, some call it um, a, a great time to buy when they're looking out a, a two to three or five year uh, through a whole nother uh, Bitcoin cycle as, yeah. uh, as, a, as one of their like parameters of their time held. But then I got, you know, uh, other guys in, in my camp that are, are, you know, in all, in all cash or, you know, all the, and their, their horses are in stables right now. I mean, and yeah. this is where it is, you know, and, and I, I'm not going to say that everybody's going to win and I'm not calling this a bull trap because I don't really know, but just based on from a historical perspective, like perspective of where, where we're going and like where we've been. Um, it, it doesn't, it, I, I don't, I don't think it's, it's a, it's a sign of a bull, a bull sign. I don't see like bullish signs yeah. and I'm from the real estate side. I get to see it from another aspect on that side of the fence. Yeah. And I, see, I, I, I don't see the market slowing because the inventory is still at minimum and the demand is up. And, and because the rates are going up and the mortgage rates are going to continue to go up probably a little bit more, yeah. you know, um, you have to realize, you know, there's even more of the buyers that are coming out of the woodwork in, in uh, you know, obviously in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, in, in a process of, of still trying to buy. There's nothing to, like, look, we don't have, this is the market right now. We're in the spring coming into the summer. This is a hot, hot time, but this whole winter was pretty hot. So it's just it's just we're in a cycle. So you know? there's, there's something that I uh, I didn't know that people were doing that people were signing like not not only are people paying like an additional like someone's asking five hundred thousand for it people will come in at like five sixty and they'll they'll and they'll also waive like uh waive like an appraisal they'll waive like an inspection like they'll agree to sign something and to buy it before an inspection's done. Not knowing that, oh yeah, the roof's leaking. You're going to spend another thirty k. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not necessarily buying it before the inspection's done. It's just that they're still getting. They're they're still going through the process of getting their particular home inspection home inspector that they hire yeah. um, to to get the home inspected. But it's just for inf informational purposes only. Um, it's not like you know where you might have some little minor things that might seem you know, um, uh, which would normally be fixable by the seller before the closing. Mm -hmm. They're waiving all that stuff. It's just basically for structural and environmental. So basically, as long as there's no um, challenges with the structure, or the integrity of the structure, or the foundation, no cracks or nothing, and there's no like um, hidden oil tanks on the property that might be uh, have a hole or contaminated some of the property if there is a hole, as long yeah. as that stuff doesn't exist, that's what they're waiving. That's what they mean by they're waiving home inspection. They're waiving all that they're going to still get it done and it's just it's just not up against the you know the seller to be responsible for any of the minor items that's all they're waiting oh, so, that's oh, all so the major waiting. items are still the responsibility of the seller well that's all that's that's why they're waving it up to only for the structural okay. and environmental anything else it's it's off the you know and don't get me wrong as obviously we do the renovations what we go through as as a representation of the seller um okay. we go through those processes we actually will still do the items that um, are sometimes waived. Just we just do that for the sellers. We, I mean, the the, the buyers. We do it just yeah. to keep it, you know, because you never know. You got to realize that's just that one contract. A home inspector is basically giving 
uh, uh, the, the actual seller or uh, the representation or, or the representative of the sellers, an actual list of things that maybe should be taken care of that might, might have we missed, even mm -hmm. though even though it might be waived. If this deal falls through or if the deals do fall through another buyer, you, we're going to already have those other items already kind of taken care of. So it's not something yeah. that we have to kick the can down the road again. You know, I mean? we'll, we'll, we'll address it and then, you know, that's fair. Uh, so as interest rates rise, I think what the national average is like 5.5% for a 30-year uh, loan. What is the, what do you typically see in, I know you probably have a little bit of higher end clients um, that probably have really good credit or that can afford to put a lot of stuff yeah. down or maybe even do cash. Um, yeah. Like what do you see in the New York, New Jersey area? Is that something that we have lower than average, higher than average? And what do you see by the end of the year? Uh, the, obviously, the tri-state area, uh, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, we're, we're in the highest of the urban centers uh, for here up on the East Coast. And uh, for us, it's basically all the, I mean, even PA, I'll throw PA in there, even though they're kind of, it's like you got the rural segment. They've been, there's a lot of people that have been jumping from, you know, obviously New Jersey's coming to, uh, New York's coming to New Jersey. New Jerseyans are going to PA. And this is this big, obviously, and then a lot of New Jerseyans and New Yorks are going to Florida as well. But this yeah. is the migration. We've had some Texas and we've had some California, but those are on the limited. Those are unlimited uh, percentages. The, but don't get me wrong. It, it's we're, we're all in the same little bucket of, of the fiscal. I mean, we, we all we all share those those rates. Um, I, I, I it's, it's it's really crazy. It was just in the threes and and, and there was some uh, yeah. low threes and sometimes high twos, depending on your credit, and what you're putting down. Now we're talking double that already. Realize that, yeah. you know, a five hundred thousand dollar home. Which would, have, would, which would have been like somewhere, you know, in the in the fifteen, seventeen hundred dollar, eighteen hundred dollar a month, uh, depending on you know your credit, your down payment, um, your your taxes, um, you know, now it's closer to three grand, and nothing's changed in the last six months. Oh Just my really, god! Realize that, man, and and that's a half a million dollar home. That's that's like I'm, I'm going to say average because they're between four and seven, you know, in the, in that range. I'd say probably five five fifty because we're selling townhomes and condos for in the fours. Two two bedroom condos are going for fours, no problem. You know, so what I mean? if that's a difference of like thirteen hundred dollars a month, you're looking at all, all four hundred sixty eight thousand dollars over the course of that thirty year loan. That's freaking ridiculous. That's an extra half a million dollars that you have to pay. Yeah, so the obviously it's amortized over the over the term, but yeah. a, a percentage, you know, is, is it's huge. It's a point. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and that, this is why I try to tell people like we don't we really don't realize where we are in the investment scope of the timeline of where we are right now with cryptocurrency, because there's so many opportunities out there that these exchanges are offering with respect to percentages. You can actually get a bigger bang for your buck, depending on what uh, exchange you're on. Um, and you can get you can get eight percent, 10 percent, 12 percent on your on your stable coin. Um, and so. You know, you, you're, you can make money on your money, better yeah. than your, your interest that you're paying on for whatever you're paying. It's like it goes with car loans. It goes with credit cards. It, it's you know what I mean? Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, and it's and it's, it's, ta it's tax free. You don't have to pay no tax on the loan that you take. Yeah. My friend Tyler did that last year with uh, with Ethereum. He just had he did like cash out refinance or or, or whatever he did on his house and, and then just put that uh, just for Ethereum. It's like, oh, nice. Um, and now that's so, and listen, that's just the flat interest you get. The actual yeah. in, in the actual um, increase in the uh, investment over the term of in the next year to two years or three years, that's going to be compounded. Just the actual crypto industry itself. I think Bitcoin is, if you say, is the safest bet out of all the bets. If yeah. if you're saying that, if that's what you want to argue. Yeah. Um, it, it, even if it doubles, it's a hundred percent. Even if it takes three years to double, it's a hundred percent. So think about think about a loan in another two three years. You're not you're not gonna you're not paying a hundred percent on your on whatever you borrow. Yeah. You're gonna get it though in your investment. Yeah, yeah. I that I wish I could do that. I wish we'd be able to go and, and borrow against your your crypto and then just use that to stake more crypto or just to buy more crypto. And you can um, do that. You can you can do that. You do that on Nexo. I mean, I've done it. I do it. I have it. I, what, I you, you whatever like if you. For instance, you put $100,000 into uh, Nexo, mm -hmm. right? If you put it into Bitcoin, you can borrow up to 50% um, of, of the um, 
it, it, depending on the program, like I'm in the VIP program, so I could get up to like 70, even 75% if I want, but just say 50, which is like standard. Yeah. You, could, you put a hundred grand in, you could take 50 out and you could yeah. take 50 and go put it into something else that'll, but you're paying, you're paying on the 50. Now, if you yeah. own, if you own say that hundred thousand that you own, if you own 10% of it in the actual Nexo coin, the Nexo coin is if you own 10% of that, you're in the platinum, uh, 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 like gold, base gold, silver, platinum. If you're in the platinum, then you're going to be at the che cheapest rate uh, of your of your uh, percentage on that loan, which yeah. which could be like only like um you could pay like six percent, okay, on the fifty k. Nice. So now the, the but the fifty k you got to realize it's in bit. You got a hundred in bit going on. So uh, the fifty that you took, as soon as you make fifty percent on your money on Bitcoin going up fifty percent. So just yeah. for instance, say it's at forty grand, and say it goes to sixty grand. Now now you just made fifty grand in 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 uh in profit. You can take, you know, fifty thousand off of off of your and pay the fifty thousand dollar loan back, right there, and you still got the fifty k that you took yeah. that, you, that you invested in planted seeds. I mean, these are just other options. You could you could do whatever you want with the money. You could go pay down credit cards. You can go, you know, yeah. um, pay a car loan off. You can do student loans. You know, you can obviously whatever higher rate that you know is is going to supersede whatever your your loan rate is. And I mean, you could buy NFTs. You could do whatever you want. It's insane. I mean, this I, is all I'm saying. No application, no nothing. It's just, it's, it's automatic. It, it is. It's literally, and it's instant. And as soon as you actually put your money in, within 24 hours, you got the money in your bank, actually available funds. You could go to the bank and actually request cash. It's not like you got to wait like six to five to seven yeah. days. I literally 24 hours, bro. I mean, these are, I'm not plugging next. So I'm just making a point. This is what I do. This is what and I'm going to By all means, do. plug away. I, so you're saying people should think about doing something like that when OMI starts the moon. They're like, yeah, I put a little here and. You know, I'm not going to get into details and specifics of what I'm doing with my NFTs and how I've uh, bridged that between what I've done with Nexo and how I've, you know, uh, yeah. formulated, obviously, my investment and my decisions, my financials. But I've done things insane. NFTs to, to, to tether, tether to take loan to pay taxes. That makes sense. I do. I got a lot of stuff happening, bro. And I, the way that I'm, I'm doing it, it's, it's just working. Yeah. It's working. It's working out, you know. Um. I, I think I don't know if I read something and I just want to just confirm this because I thought, did you just have 131 million and now you don't have 131 million for tax purposes? No, I have, I have 131.5 now. Okay. Um, but I, I did have, I have a large tax bill, 25% of it's paid off. So I have, uh, I have, I have three, three more quarters left to, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, listen, no, I, I, I don't. And everybody has their own way of doing things, and I'm not obviously a, a, a you know, a, a tax uh, obviously consultant or an advisor in any sense. This is not any financial advice either. However, I have obviously the tax preparers and the accountants in my my corner, and you know, this is what I involved in. You know, you you can get into payment plans, and and the actual payment plans themselves they could come sooner than quarterly. You can pay them obviously. Um, bi-weekly or, you know, you can get it even weekly or monthly. And so um, it, it, you know, if you think that your investment is going to make stronger gains than what you're going to be paying back based on the math, you know, you don't have to liquidate yourself or get, and that's another tax event in and of itself too. Just realize, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just to let you know. So I'm just, you know, throwing options yeah. out. People just look into it because it's important. If you don't, you have to pay, say you got to pay 50 grand. You could pay a thousand uh, at a clip, you know. You could you could liquidate a thousand at a clip, and 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 pay it down. Maybe maybe the fifty that's in there. Maybe you'll only get to forty. You'll pay ten out of the fifty, but the forty that's in there might double and go to eighty. Yeah. Now 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 you only have a forty balance. You only have to shave the other. You know what I'm saying? The rest of off. It's a lot less than taking it all from the original. You know. Yeah. So, so that's what I have. Um, you know, I haven't sold Omi any of it yet. Just buying, so I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens. Hopefully, the moon's in the next. I mean, it should in the next couple months. Um, there's a lot of bullish things that Reese had said yesterday on essentially Crypto's podcast. I had Brock on uh, as well on mine. I was and, I was in with Brock. Yeah, it was it was good. Oh yeah, I saw you there. Um, so one of, some of the things that he was talking about um, made me realize that him saying that he's very very bullish on Omi, like more bullish than he's ever been. As far as VV goes, before interest rates rise again, like the best time to raise money is when you don't need it. 
Do you think that VV should raise money? I think they should have a capital raise. And if so, what do you think they should spend that on? We're not really privy to our financials, bro. It's a, it's a privately held, you know, entity. And um, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, so I can't really speak on that, on that end. Yeah. If I knew more about their financials, I'd probably get a better, uh, you know, uh, just yeah. whatever advice that I could come out with or my own um, uh, opinions. But um, I mean, uh, I, I don't think it'll hurt. I mean, yeah. could it hurt? No, not at all. I, don't, I, I think mean, if you can raise money for whatever you, you know what I mean? However you do. I mean, look, we did, did we just had, we did a drop for you, drops for Ukraine. For yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're talking about raising money. We raise money. Think <laughs> about it. You know what I'm saying? So, the Imagine, reason why I, I, don't, I don't know. What do we raise? A million? What, more than a million? I don't know. What was the number? I, th I think it was close to a million. Right. Just, was, say, was, just, a, say, a mil right, just say a million. You know, you, you know what you get right now at, just say, at two tenths of a penny. <laughs> you know, a million a million dollars bro it's like what was that two two billion uh omi or okay. right? I, I'm, I'm off i'm sorry man uh, a, a yeah million. a million dollars would be about 500 million omi oh, 500 million. That's like right. 480 something um but the reason why i was thinking that is because he was mentioning that the omi burn is going to be quite significant and if you if we raise money and we hire more devs and suddenly we go from you know four drops a week to eight drops a week then that will uh that'll exaggerate the burn a lot and that and i figured if we do that we raise money by get more devs i, I think that'd be pretty good because there's so many other brands that we've been waiting for, for like, like like jurassic park um or even just like you know finishing that you know the Cryptkins are getting Cryptkin season. E even just small stuff like that a lot of people that are really on the back burner you know you still have little prince still have lol mga dolls um, you know, the Jim Henson things that were, were announced and we still haven't gotten yet. I think it's just because the schedule for Disney and Marvel is so demanding that the other ones kind of a thing. I'm just looking to try to go and um, try yeah, to get as try, much. Out of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know me, I'm not I'm not I'm not a, an advocate for many uh, multiple drops like uh, crazy drops. I'm, and I made that clear in our last. Uh, yeah, stream. that's true. Not that, not that that's, you know, look, it's obviously everybody has their own opinion on that. And I have my reasons for it, but I, I, you know, at, at, at some one side, but on the other side, I don't think that that VV can throw us enough drops to, to discourage. Um, in other words, I don't think that VV could, could uh, <laughs> dilute us with dr so many drops that there's going to, there would come a point in time where the buy now button would still be there for five to 10 or 20 minutes or a day later. As, no. as when we first came into the game, you know, you can still buy a couple of days later, the item's still available and you still got you could, even months later, actually. I mean, even Captain America, you could have still bought it. Yeah. You know, that rare, and ultra rare. They, they had a burn. They had actually burned the commons because it wasn't, it wasn't selling. Just imagine months later, it was, the <laughs> buy now button was still there. I don't think that at this point right now, that BB can actually get us in a position where they would put us in a position where the actual buy now button would still be there. So I yeah. still think at that same argument, I think we would still, we can still uh, sell a lot of uh, content, you know, yeah. right now, a lot of assets would, would still move. I don't think that the secondary markets would respond um, uh, uh, consequently to that. I, I think that there's, you know, um, a, a segment of uh, new uh, newbies coming in, into the site that are, are starting to have a little bit more of a collectability aspect of what they're doing and why. I don't. I think there's flippers in there too, and I think there's flippers and collectors that we both are kind of, sort of, but I don't think it's on the massive scale. Yeah. So you know, I don't. I don't know. I, I it gets. To, I, you will maybe get to a certain point where there might be some discouragement, or people will reflect and say, "Wow, wait a minute now." You know, I got 2,000 collectibles. I got, you know, 18 to 1,500, you know, comics. I got, then it get to a point where they're like, well, maybe I want to get a little ROI here. Maybe I want to sell some. And then when they start to apply those cells, it, it may not, it, it may, they may not move. They may not sell or, or sell for what they want. So that's where the discouragement may cascade a domino effect and saying, you know, hold up. That's it. I'm done. I mean, uh, I'm, I, I don't want to say I'm, I, I don't want to admit this, but I, I am at that point. I've been at that point, to yeah. be honest with you. I, I, I've obviously after I think uh, FF five, I lost you. I, I think after after FF five or, or and uh, the Disney when I was in Vegas, that was it for me. Like after there was just I didn't. Yeah. I, first of all, I only collect sets, and it only have to be grail sets. They have to be top selling top items, and and that and hasn't really been any really hot 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 items um, since then. I, how I define hot? Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, and so um, it's been it's been like that. 
Uh, so, uh, I did, obviously tomorrow I'm I'm definitely collecting that. I did I did good Star Wars. I'll be posting a collage up with that. Okay. Uh, and and um, you know Doctor Strange, man, and I'll be in I'll be seeing the movies. Give me one sec. I have to take this call. I got to mute it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pause. Drop. I love Doctor Strange. He's so good. Um, Brooklyn Range. <laughs> Andrew, what's up? What's going on, Mark? How you doing? Um, Dead Marquez is coming. What's going on? Spoilers for the film. Severely underwhelmed. Had all the pieces, and it just didn't land for me. And I love the first. Interesting. Interesting. So you love the first, didn't love the second. I hope Mr. Pags is... Maybe I should be on mute. Oh, he's on mute. I don't know if he can hear. I don't know if I'm interrupting his phone call. What's up? What's up, back? Sorry. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, the uh, Rob Stone at twelve thirty four uh, made a um, IRS will automatically accept a payment plan um, under ten uh, percent. And anything above that uh, definitely can be accepted, um, but it's not automatic. That is 100 percent. But however, just to let you know, depending on the yeah, depending on the um, uh, whether it's a, a corporate a tax or a personal, uh, yeah. there, there's no, you can negotiate. It's definitely um, not automatic, but you can you can negotiate um, larger, larger, um, uh, you know, item uh, mentioned that you owe. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Gary does that. Um, so, yeah, that, that is something that I'm glad you mentioned the Star Wars um I guess you got and the Doctor Strange one. So we we had a couple of things back to back. I don't know if they're going to give us any other Doctor Strange stuff. Um, I mean, one eleven or whatever. But yeah, this is something I'm definitely going for. Are you going to stack anything like you had Journey into Mystery? You no, know, you got nope. a bunch of those comments. Now you're just going to nope. MC, MC, MC one comments in the J uh, the the uh, the the gyms. Uh, and um, I grabbed uh, like early on just because I like the art. It had nothing to do with the investment part of it. it was the uh, uh, the uh, Captain America uh, un, uh, Uncommon with uh, Sam Wilson on it. On, it was yeah. a white background when he's standing there. It's a real good. I just liked it. I, I had a stack. I got like, I don't know, maybe like 20 or 30. Those are the ones we were like giving away. As yeah. you know, just oh, yeah. But um, other than that, you know, um, yeah, Doctor Strange is, is, is a, it's a good book. Um, it's a good, obviously, he's kind of like, he's like, the, the, you know, the ringleader here. He, he's the, uh, you know, orchestrator before for all the movies, you know, we, he's, he's in the Spider-Man, he's doing his multiverse stuff. It's kind of like letting you know what the MCU is bringing out. And like, that's how they're doing it. Yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong. X-Men four, as I mentioned before, X-Men four that we have, um, that's been dropped, uh, the, um, uh, uncommon with, um, uh, Wanda, uh, Maximoff. She's, uh, the Scarlet Witch. That's her first appearance in that, um, in that comic. And that, uh, uncommon is a panel out of the book. So that's a good thing. And she's she's an integral part of this movie. Yeah. And uh, so uh, it, it's, you, it's you seeing it this weekend. Huh? You seeing it this weekend? Yeah, I have. The, I, have the, I, I had bought the. Uh, I bought the early um, the pre-sales. Yeah. And um, if you bought the pre-sales, I, I don't know. There was a, like some kind of an incentive. I don't know what the hell I did. Okay. I gotta look at it. I, 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 I might even be tonight. Is it tonight? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, tonight is the midnight yeah. release. I'm going tomorrow at at twelve with with Yo Steph. She's you know big into hero cards and bat pals and, and Disney NFTs. So, uh, so that'll be fun. Cool. And then, yeah, so that'll be exciting. And yeah. the um, did you get any of those uh, pre orders for the Jurassic Park NFTs? Like to see that double feature? And no, I didn't participate in that. I didn't. Yeah. I, I got the, I got the four, I got four uh, bat cows. That I have tweeted and posted. That's about it for um, the like that new stuff uh, outside of uh, um, um, BB. I mean, that's it though. I, I didn't get any other uh, any other pre sales and stuff. I'm, I'm not. You know, what it is for for the. I, I don't. I'm not really. I, I know there's just because it's definitely going to be some kind of a. You know, BB's going to um, offer some kind of a, a, a you know a drop or something or you know for people who own um, whatever a giraffe. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of specialty items. I like how they do that and that they're going to they're probably going to do it. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I listen. Even the Star Wars. I told you. I did. I said it was probably going to be a thousand on the on the floor in the SR. Twenty four hours later, it is. I mean, these are just standards. I'm not like this guessing guy. I know. I know a crystal ball. I just. I just. I know what the. There. It's that kind of a book. You know what I mean? It, it's. It's got great low mint uh, um, evaluations, 
But once you start touching, there's a there's a point where it just drops off. You know, you yeah. got these, you know, the first like, you know, uh, I guess sub one thousand, and then once you get after that, it just drops. It's just like a cliff. So yeah. those are those are artificial, just showcase uh, numbers. They're not like actual. You know, there's no um, expectation of like true sales happening in the you know ten k, five k, twenty k, thirty, and, and and so forth. Those are just because when you, you drop after like eleven hundred, twelve hundred, you can get it for like one point three, one point two k, one point one. Yeah. Well, you know, um, but the, the Star Wars is Star Wars. I mean, you're not going to take I'm take nothing away from, you know what I mean? Yeah, I uh, I think it'd be really great if I, I, I don't think that's based on David Yu's tweets and his Instagram posts. I don't think that's the only Star Wars thing we're getting this month. No, we're, getting collect, we're getting collectibles. We're going to get collectibles. You know that that's yeah. definitely going to follow. But I, I, I'm like I said, uh, you know, it's going to, you know, F.A., F.E. and all that, you know, I mean. It's gonna be cool, you know. We're gonna get dark. We're gonna get, <clears throat> you know, probably Jabba. We're probably gonna get, you know, um, the whole Han Solo and Luke Skywalker thing. You know, we're gonna yeah. get those, the, just the main characters, uh, Princess Leia and stuff. But I mean, it's like, you know, um, like the like the um, what do you call it? Woody? You know, the Toy Story. You know, you're gonna get those. You're gonna get like the main characters. Yeah. You know, those those are those drops. It's good. It's good for it. It's good. You collect the whole set. I mean, that's a that's a great thing, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, uh, you see the guy with the nineteen seventy seven, bro. That's so cool, right? And that was, yeah. I I wonder what the biggest offer was so far, because I, I have a couple friends that are going for that 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 want that. So I I, I don't know. I don't know what the. I think it would have been better if that person would have accepted the offer yesterday, because yesterday when people couldn't sell. The stuff that they bought from the marketplace. How unfair how is that? Yeah, that was I, I, that happened once before. I think that's the thing with the mutable X, where the data doesn't transfer. Like it says you own it, but you don't actually own it yet. Yeah, it, it, but it was, but it was, it was, um, it coincided with other other NFTs. It wasn't just uh, the Star Wars. Oh, it wasn't just. Oh, okay. I thought. I guess people made a big deal about that just because that was the main drop that day. Yeah, because um, that's art you're artificially popping things up. You're not letting the market like be you're not letting the free market take its own toll on it on the short term. And that's yeah. where that's where that short term is where all that liquidity comes in for those flips. If you yeah. take that out of the equation, you're taking that liquidity out, and that's you're taking burnout. You know, you don't let a chance sometimes an item could get flipped two or three times. You'll let you're not letting those transactions happen. As soon yeah. as you acquire, you gotta wait 24 hours. I mean like three days before two or three flips happen. I don't agree yeah. with that. Listen, and and and, I'm, and that's that's all. Like I said, it's artificially keeping the the prices from being able to go anywhere. So your 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 the floors are kind of like held up by ladders for for the time being. They really are. It's artificial. People, you know, have to wait, so they're not going to lower their number because they know they have they can't sell it for everybody's in the same boat. Yeah. So they're just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. And then obviously, uh, you know, 24 hours go by. You see it now. It's it's dropped. Um, yeah, it's like thirty percent. It was like thirteen hundred. It's exactly. down to like a thousand now. So yeah, it's um. You'll see them in the nines and the eights and the sevens again. I'm sure. Oh, I hope so. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> it goes, no, goes so I'm just saying. You know, I'm I'm in, I'm just making a point that the you know, yeah. it'll it'll fall to that. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned you got back house. Do you get any with really good like traits, good rarity? What did you say? I'm sorry. Oh, for the back house. Uh, did you get any that were like? Oh, yeah, really I got. I, I I posted on Twitter. I got uh, I uh, the one I have that has the earpiece. It has like a less than one percent, less than one percent <laughs> on the on the on the earpiece. But then it or and then it's got like less than one percent, less than one percent on the actual um, the material it's made out of or or whatever. Oh, so it, it it's pretty it's pretty rare, but. I don't care about rare. I was even, I, for me, I just, it's just cool to be, I'll tell you what though. Um, the last number that you have that we obviously seen, you know, that we're in different groups. I'm zero two seven mm -hmm. nine. And, uh, there's a, there's a, a few bad ass zeros and twos of, of cows that I've seen yeah. that were in the same pretty cool district. That's pretty cool. I, I kind of like this stuff. This, this is actually, the utility of this is 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 making sense. I like it. I'm I'm into it. You know what I mean? I, I could I could see you know playing a game and maybe you know passing stuff off to maybe my son. It's pretty cool, man. It's gonna it's it's like I, I like it. You know what I mean? And I if Omi had some kind of like you know um, I don't want to say I think it's gonna happen. It's just that like right now you know like the back cows were just released and they're already they already have a plan for like. 
districts. They already get you into a category. You kind of feel like you're on a team already, you know, and, and um, the collective sense of that feeling, um, you know, adds excitement. Plus the fact that out of 200,000, you know, you're, you're talking about less than 5% were, were, uh, participated in, and got. Yeah, super and, and small. And really, it's less than 5% because people like me got four. So yeah. if, you, if you take the 5%, probably cut that by 30% saying at least one out of every three people got at least more than one. That means technically there's really only like a total yeah. of maybe like 3% of the – so 97% was is untouched and gone out yeah. of the circulation. We, we hope everybody that's in has one of, you know, a 3% chunk. That's a, that's yeah. a, it's huge. Yeah. There's a, I think it was less than 5,000 wallet holders hold like, uh, yeah, it was, it was like what, 12,000 or just under 12,000. Yeah. So that's a 40, uh, 40, 50%. That's like one half. That's like, that's, that's huge. That's like yeah. two, two, you know, 2%. That's awesome. What's up? Marvelous. <laughs> I, I, I am. I am. <laughs> Me, I'm pumped take, for it too. Yeah, we, we get these drops. This this one I'm looking at like um tomorrow. I'm putting it in a character car, category like uh like Ghost Rider. I think Ghost Rider may be a little bit higher because but but I think because it's it's kind of like um the strange has been more in the spotlight right now because of Spider Man because of their own the multiverse. This is this is a, a great time for this particular book, hard copy and the NFTs. Yeah. It, absolutely, you know. The um are you are you doing anything for single day mile? You getting tacos tonight? You getting some margaritas? No margaritas. Uh, we're uh, we're gonna pro we're probably gonna do some kind of like home theme here with with uh, a bunch of you know uh, uh, tortillas and and the uh, the you know um, the hard shells and stuff. We get it with the whole table. You know we're gonna have it. But uh, my wife and I are probably just gonna go out for you know just a couple of drinks and stuff. We don't nothing crazy. Nice. I'm going to go get Chipotle. It's going to be great. I can't wait. <laughs> I, so do you have any, I have this one lady coming on this afternoon. Her name is Dr. Amanda Doran. She's a veterinarian, but she's also a witch, like a practicing, like, like, we, like I'm, I'm so curious. I, I don't know if I've ever really talked to a witch before. Have you? Yeah. Oh, like for like, like you dated one back in the day or like, you were in this. Yeah, my, my, my wife is in, in, in uh, my, my wife is, well, I don't want to say she's a witch, but I, she, she thinks she is. And, okay. and so uh, there's like other, um, uh, you know, she's the good witch though, naturally. I mean, there, there's some bad ones, but, but she's uh, we have friends and she has some close friends um, of which um, uh, they, they like Italian, like hard root Italians. Um, they, they, uh, the, the, I think the, the guys are called Bombayal and, uh, mm -hmm. the, the women are called Santeria. The Santeria is, you know, these are, you know, of, of their, basically they have, there's sacrifices. Sometimes they're killing chickens and you have to do stuff with blood, the blood from the chickens. There's just some weird, cool stuff. Yeah. I'm not into it. My wife's really not into that stuff, yeah. but she's into like tarot and the, and the universe and energies and stuff, which I kind of like believe to some extent, cause it, it is part of zodiac and energy and it's part of our our, our system but i'm yeah. not i'm not like into it where i'm like get like palm red and you know uh tower card readings and and stuff where it's like you know will i do it yeah have i been with mediums and checked out stuff and had and sat down with them yeah am i like a big believer in it not really yeah. not, not like i'm not a believer in it i don't it's not like i say i don't believe it i'm just not a big believer into it you know what i'm saying yeah. i have percentages of what what i believe in that and I do. So, yeah, I just had a uh, son on the podcast that was like a specialist in like reincarnation, and I was like, "Oh, this is it." So I'm just trying to get more into that. Like, like I said, I told people I don't know how long we all have on you know God's green earth, so I want to get really weird with it. I want to interview like everyone that's into like the spiritual and whatever. I, I thought that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, my my daughter, she's 16. She's kind of she was she worked at a uh, in the summer or oh, summer job. Um, and like a uh, mystic store with stones and stuff. They go to sometimes the little expos they have and they get some stuff. You know, we have like a couple of those, you know, copper brass bowls that make the sound and you put water in it. You can see the different um, uh, frequency uh, uh, changes that happen to the water on the surface. And it's some pretty cool stuff. Don't get me wrong. And, and some of the meditation part of it, I like, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not like, I don't sit there and uh, meditate. I, I probably will one time just to try to see. I think yeah. it's cool. I mean, I kind of meditate in my own little, relaxation mode we call it you know what i'm saying and that's just how i meditate i just don't want no noise 
I want no phones are off and I just chill. Yeah. Um, but I mean, for other than that, I mean, you know, you define it, whatever, you know, way you make, you know? Have, yeah. Have you ever gone to a sensory deprivation tank? There's those sensory deprivation tanks are like these giant pods where like the, the water temperature conforms to your body temperature. No. And it's I, I, so okay, much okay. No. Yeah. That's what makes it float. No, it's really good. Like I 10 out of 10, definitely. Like when I was in Jersey, I used to go like every month. Like it was, yeah, I, I've only gone like maybe a few times after I got out of the military right now, but I mean, I know there, there's cryo, uh, there's like the cryo sub freezing, you know, uh, ones they have, they have the bats. Um, they have a couple of, um, um, but, uh, there's, um, there's a couple of things that I I've seen, you know, out there. Yeah. Um, there's the, the, the soundproof boxes and, they, they have just certain um, frequencies that they just let go and you just kind of got to, it's, it's, there's no light and it, it's just like soundproof and no light. And you just sit there and you're just like, you're in space and you just yeah. have this, like this one frequency played and it's supposed to like put you there. I, I haven't gone and thought about like finance stuff to do it. Like I, whenever I do it, I usually get a, uh, I'll usually be on like a, a trip with my friend Lucy when I'm thinking about finance stuff. I, ju I just got some. If you want some, let's, let's go. Let's go hard. Um, but the, but I haven't done that in like a in that type of meditation setting. Like, do you think about finances and stuff? Like, hey, which I invest in, or is it just like clear the mind type of deal? That's a good question, man. I, I'm not really. I, I think it's. I try to. I mean, I'm I'm very methodical, and it's, yeah. it's something that I take in as I as I've been playing poker for over two decades. I'm very methodical in the decisions. I mean, obviously, uh, over time, you know, when I was a little younger, got a little, I was a little more hasty on my decisions, and obviously, some of the wisdom I had to take from lessons learned. But, um, you know, you you grow, you grow older and you get more mature. You get it. You know, you just kind of figure it out. Yeah. What was oh, that? So, thing? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Tony Tony Rio is the person that has the yes. Has the, oh. Yeah, I, 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 Tony, man, I, 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 he, there was. Like we DM, he was DM. It was just about like what my interest and everything. I, I for me, um, it's it's uh, it, it it wouldn't make sense for me to go and place to 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 own it. You you got like he got it. I think that he should hodl it unless he really needs the money. Um, you know, just put yeah. put it on Twitter, make someone. I mean, obviously we don't have the NFT disabled, the transfers disabled at the moment, so you'd only have to uh transact it online. You'd be stuck with gems. Then you'd have to get the gems off the site. You know, you know what I mean. Um. I would have a hard time saying no to seventy thousand dollars. Well, if seventy thousand dollars USDT or seventy thousand gems is a big difference, that's a good, I mean, a good point. I, I want to make a point for that because if it's obviously if it's if it's USDT, you can't do it now because you 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 um you, you're not going to be able to uh, transfer yeah. the NFT. So yeah. that's probably gems. Now, if it is gems, um, you you you'd, you'd be acquired. You'd have you'd have the gems in your in your account, and then someone would have to send you. Uh, like a cheap uh, 2.5% collectible, yeah. and then, you, then you you would you would basically buy it, and they would give you maybe USDT, and then they would get gems. You'd be basically tr selling gems to kind of subsidize how you got your um yeah you know, uh, how you get to tr that's just a way to circumvent you know the uh, yeah. things that we've been denied at the moment. Um, however, um, when it says uh, should I take it, look. It, it, you'll probably get about between 45 and 60 cents uh, for every gem. So you're looking at somewhere between, say, 28 and uh, 30,000 to, say, upwards as high as maybe 40,000 in gem in money. In, in money. So between, say, 30 and 40,000. If 30 or 40,000 dollars is, is important to you right now, and someone's going to do that, um, you 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 you'll be able to easily sell the the gems on the market uh, for that uh, rate. And um, probably take you a couple of days to get it all, all gone, or maybe within a couple of hours. And I have some resources if you want to DM me that might be interested. Other than that, man, um, it really it really matters of if you're really interested. I mean, that's it. And and if you, if it is, do it. For me, um, you know, I, I would ne I'd never thought I would sell uh, my uh, my MC one secret rare that I had, and or the set, and yeah. my Spider Man set, and my Walt forty five in my in a hundred years. I didn't thought I was I was holding on to it, but the the prices are right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These are right. I mean, I paid 1.8 million uh, Omi for the 45. <laughs> with that, with that money, I right now I could have bought 32 million Omi yeah. for the same price, but I got over 16 million Omi for it. 
So for me, that's like a 14 or, or so, you know, 13 um, X. Yeah. It, it, it's a no brainer. You know, I don't think that, I don't think that uh, 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 the, uh, the 45 Walt's going to 13 X for me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know what I mean? That's how I'm looking at it. Like in a sense of percentage. Um, and so that's what I did for myself. That's what I thought was right. There's other people out there saying, Oh, Mr. Pag, what'd you do? You know, I get, I get, man, I hope you hope that's, you know, make you happy. Cause it is, it makes me happy. So I can't really, it's, it's what makes you happy, uh, Tony. Um, and, and congratulations on it, bro. That's a, it's a hardcore. It really, man, if you wait it out a little bit, you, you know, you know, it can go down and, and you might not get as much, but if you wait it out a little bit and maybe this whole boom happens, that particular item might be in the most demand, even more than maybe even the 201 that's in the set. So yeah. it's really up to you, bro. Uh, Did you see VV Fox's girl, video? Sorry, I don't know if it's Tony. I don't know if it's a girl. Oh, oh yeah, it could be. Uh, did you see VV Fox's video on like the tracking the top hundred wallets on VV? I didn't see the video. I heard it. I'd seen it. Yeah. Being- so if you look at it, like obviously the top hundred wallets are there because they're mostly buying, you know, most of them aren't, aren't, aren't selling, but the stuff that I thought was really interesting is that five of the top 20 wallets are, are frozen. Like there were no transactions the last like six weeks. Um, so th- those are, Top 20 probably had, you know, the gem investigation thing and they'll get their accounts back probably before the end of this month. I think that because you have the top five and, and again, they, they all have minimum like 2000 collectibles. I think that top wallet had had like 11,000 collectibles or something like that. Um, it was a lot. And I think that those particular accounts probably have hundreds of thousands, if not like millions of gems. And I think that's definitely millions, bro. Yeah, I, I think people are going to go and and really, really, uh, once those get unlocked, people are going to go on a spending spree because they haven't been able to as the market's been going down because they've been frozen. But as they get their accounts back within this next month, I think that's going to be a big catalyst. You see a lot of stuff start to rise. Yeah, my, my, my you know, Dean, um, you know, uh, he's uh, an awesome dude. I feel so bad. I, I, I reached out uh, to him the other day and I was just to see where he was at. Um, unfortunately, he's still up. It, it's didn't come back yet. But no. I, I, I have so much um, uh, uh, optimism on that. And I think that uh, he's he's going to get it back. And, and um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's they said May, June. They said May to June. That that, that was the, the time that I was hearing. As you know, it was early May or early yeah. June or how, you know, but it's a lot of accounts to go through and they have to really sift through it. I mean, I, you have to understand it's not your fault and it's unfortunate if anybody that's listening, you know, it, you're just a product of uh, circumstance and, and this is what you got to deal with. I mean, that's unfortunate. But the good thing is when you do come back, um, it, it's 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 a it's a cleaner environment. I got yeah. to tell you that it's cleaner. There's more people getting multiple drops. I'm seeing a lot more um, uh, positive feedback from people who are getting, you know, getting, I got two, I got one. Oh my God. Or, you know, she was getting secret rares. It's really, it's really like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the um, low mints that I've been always searching for are now out really out and exposed and, you know, 201s, 202s, 203s, like the bottom, bottom, bottoms, you know, those are, those are the, the, the best, that's the heart of the best of the best there. And normally, you know, when you got bots, they would take two or three or four of them out. So from the top 10, you'd only really get like maybe five or, or six uh, of the top tens uh, available that went to other than bot accounts. So they're not, you know what I mean? They're not getting banned, not being banned. They're, they're available for, you know, for uh, in the circulation. Yeah. Not agreed. And um, when you have, so I just want to go back to that uh, Tony, Tony comment real quick. If I, if I were to get like even 70,000 gems and let's say I sell half of them and then keep the other 35,000, I might do that and just, and just load up on some grails. You know, I might just get, I mean, I might get, you know, a cheaper version of that Star Wars comic. I might get a second partner statue. I might re get like a Riso and a Todd. I mean, Todd's, they're so cheap. It's like 4K. So it yeah, seems I mean, like. If you get two, if you get two Todd's, say you get two Todd's, it's uh, like 8K and you yeah. get, you get two partners um, and that would cost you 18, let's just say 20. So 28, right. just say 30, you get two yeah. corners and two Todd's and then get five and, and then, and then pick up, um, uh, w- which would, which would equate to somewhere around like 5 million Omi. Right? Yeah. You take. Yeah. You yeah. Take? Probably. That's perfect. You, you know what I'm saying? 5 million Omi, two Todd's and two partners, bro. For that one <laughs> comic. Oof. Yeah. That'd be hard Do to it, say. No Do too. it. 
I mean, and look, you got to realize it's, it's, uh, the, it, <laughs> It's a real good, it's a great item though. Don't get me wrong. If you decide to keep it, man, Tony, that, you know, I really uh, tell you it, it's there. there There's one thing about the star Wars um, franchise. It's, it's an aged franchise and there's not a lot of, you know, 18 to, to, to 30 year olds that are like, you know, deep into star Wars because it, it missed them, you know, based on the way, when they were born um, but between 30 and like 55, it's a, it's a, it's, you got, you got the, the heart there. And there's and there's a lot of people in that range right there. The baby boomers, um, Gen X's, you know, myself. Yeah, that money. Yeah, and and there's a lot there's a lot of people there that are now their baby boomers' parents and grandparents have passed and are passing. And there's a lot of money being left to them in estates because that's what I deal with all the time with estate sales. Because of that, we're in a time period where the baby boomers are in their 70s now, and every single year that goes by, a lot of a lot of those baby boomers are dying. So there's a lot of wills and a lot of estates being left that have no bills getting homes with no mortgages and, and they're being left to the Gen Xers like myself or, you know, a little bit older and they just have money to go. And trust me, if they're into something, they have extra money, you know, there there's that, that is extra money for their likings. And if they're into star Wars and into things like that, that particular uh, NFT, yeah. it, it, it can bring, it could bring premium. I mean, for the, even for the buyer that is interested in that 70 K it's a good buy for them as well. It's a, it's yeah. a win, win. I think it's a great price, man. Truthfully, man. And that's, that's the best I can tell you. Yeah, seventy thousand gems. Of course, yeah, it's it's a good deal, dude. If you can do it, um, yeah. you know, you can pick up a couple NFTs, like like uh, Randy and myself said. I mean, I, every every everybody uh, listening it can you can say, yeah, hey, spread it out, this and that. Everybody's got an idea, but that that's what I would do. Uh, you know, yeah. the best of yeah. both worlds. Yeah. So, and people coming in, getting a lot of stuff since the box freeze. Yeah, this this is this is really good. It's really exciting. Yeah, the um, NFT, the NFT transfer. I think the the sable in the NFT transfer was was a a significant um, a parameter that was built off that because when when you have um, awesome stuff, when you have um, the you when you can't transfer the NFT, if the bot gets it, you can't transfer it, so it gets stuck in that account, and they can't they can't consolidate. So if you have bots that are just you know uh you know loading up on on all these nfts they can't go nowhere you can't you can't send them off here send them off there you can't sell them you can't sell them to anybody because yeah. you can't get usdt because you can't transfer the item to nobody so they're just locked in and you can only sell them on on site but selling them on site what does that do you get gems now but now now you got a whole bunch of gems that red flags for multiple you know uh transactions red flags or whatever whatever um is set up in the program for the uh tracking that and, 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 you know, you're not going to, especially bots are getting low mints. They're not going to sell them for cheap. So, so all you have to see is one account getting loads and loads and loads of it's just, you know what I mean? And, uh, it's going to get flagged and then banned, you know, yeah. I just like it for the fact that they're just not cooperating to get into not getting involved in it for that reason. So it's, it's allowing a lot of the lower mints and the better of the quality of those particular premium collectibles and comics to now hit into the circulation. That's that's why I like about it. It just sucks that obviously I do a lot of trading and trading is, is a key component when you obviously need the, the NFT transfer um, enabled. So that's so why it's, it slowed me down. You've had a um, very good reasoning to sell some of their stuff because it went up so much and you're able to go and, and capitalize on that. In, in a short in. period of time, don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, massive gains. Is there, was any of your reasoning or at least part of your reasoning because you think that, well, VV might at some point go and release some of these comics that are, you know, lower than the ones they have, or at least these collectibles that are sub 40. Well, look, I mean, this is how I'm looking at it, right? So on the premium items that I have sold, I mean, they're, we're talking about secret rares and stuff. You're talking about big items that they're, they're already limited in their own, in their own mind, right mind. I mean, yeah. you know, even like, you know, MC one, they said it's 500. It started at a 599. The first one was a 599. So how many of the 500 are sub 599, even if there's 15, but there's, you know, 485 of them that are that are out there. So if there's 15 that are being held back, what what does it matter for the one or two that you sell? You know what I'm trying to say? I yeah. mean, you, you know what I mean? It's not that serious when it comes to like, you know, hitting the 201s or in the, in the, in the uh, 202s and 203, like low lows like that, or even in like my Avengers. OK, so so what you, you only have a, a 200 that uh, predate you or predate me. There's not that many, and that's all five variants that have to get divided up into. 
So there's yeah. really not that many. That, that knows, and it's not going to go go to one person. We're all going to, yeah. you know, as long as you're, you're in the low, low numbers like that, I, I it's, it's, a, it's a win-win. And you really, that's still the verdict. This is still not out on that yet. You really don't know. I'm hearing still rumored it might, they might burn, um, they might burn some or a, 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 a conditionally a, a specific number about uh, on that. So that'll oh, help. Be amazing. That'll, yeah, that'll, help, man. That'll, that'll help. That'll help. Yeah. Uh, so David, you talking about his, um, I, I sent him, he probably has so many messages. I sent him a message on Instagram as well when he posted that video or when, when there was that whole um, video and it showed a Pokemon card in the bottom right corner. I wasn't asked like when Pokemon was like, Hey, what Pokemon card was that? Cause a bunch of us are trying to figure it out. He hasn't answered yet, but uh, if he does, I'll, I'll let you all know unless he tells it's funny me. how that comes out. Right. And you got the actual book of the Star Wars book front row center. Yeah. And then it drops. He teases. Yeah, and I got teases. that Pokemon way in the corner. And, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not saying that, man. You know, we got uh, the P. You know, we got the P. So that's the other thing. Like, you know, Dan just followed Funimation and Crunchyroll, you know, these these two big places where you could go and, and stream anime. And Pokemon is on both of them. Um, and they have the Japanese Discord now. Like, do you think they announce like Pokemon like first? Or do you think they'll just be like, all right, we'll just amount, announce a new vertical such as anime? Yeah, yeah like Goku and stuff. I, honestly, I think I think a DBZ comes out. I think we get it. And, and honestly, I don't know in, in, in what order. But I don't I don't think, you know, I think they're going to, I think they have to release this. They have to release this segmented based on the uh, the, the, the the geography of, um, uh, of, of the parts of the world that it's uh, in. Yeah. So in other words, where it gets released... Like in other words, where where is the where's the biggest component of of the sales of uh, Pokemon globally? Do you know? Is it Japan? Is it China? Is it any of the Asians? Is it I, Korea? I think it's the U.S. That everything that comes like because it? a lot of the trophy cards are are in the U.S. that that are bought. Like all like Pokemon just did a giant thing with their with their printers. They are reprinting all of these sets from like the last couple of years, and it's just going to go. Insane. So people that were stacking boxes, like, oh, this is only this for this print run, they're getting screwed right now because Pokemon's turning on those printers and they're printing it. So I think a lot of, I think most of it is in the U.S. Um, where all the money's at. Oh, okay. I mean, that, that's cool. I, I didn't know. Um, I mean, nonetheless, but still, the market, the global market, still has a big reach. And and Pokemon Go being a, you know an augmented reality um, of gaming. Um, that came out of that, that that's huge. I mean, we're talking about it's a multi-billion dollars. Like this, this industry is huge. I yeah. mean, think about, you think about how we, you know, battle with, with, um, uh, with the fish. It just, it's just another segment of a battle. Just think about two Pokemon coming into that, into that arrangement, but they're NFTs that stand up. They don't have yeah. to be actually, you know, uh, maybe a, a moving or a, a mobile, um, a character or collectible. But what if it's just, even if it's just a, like a lenticular card that just sits, you know, uh, a stagnant, I mean, and there's a battle. You can go back and forth. The same kind of like parameters. You can still set up the same attack or defense. You know what I'm saying? You can play Pokemon, basically. I mean, if there's a game like that, that like uh, 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 Brock said that, um, you know, uh, obviously he created, and it's still beta, but if, if Vivi's able to do that, uh, come out with that, or Pokemon does that and uses those particular NFTs, and you could come into... And the interoperability of coming into that Pokemon game with VV's exclusive yeah. NFTs, dude, we're we're going to like ten cents, like like no problem, like it's like five to ten cents, it's like a, a glory. We'll, we'll, we're going to flip XRP and Ethereum, no problem. And I mean, don't get me wrong, that's just on market cap. As time goes on, you know, obviously it, it changes a little because we get as as the burn, you know, your market cap comes down if the price don't go up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just realize that. Which is which is great. I, I think that's great. I think imagine having, you know, one of the best cryptos in the market cap still not, still not there. Yeah. Could that, you imagine that though? Could you imagine like a, on, on like a lot of other uh, this happening now with more of like a, a coin burning and stuff, but you imagine being worth like 10 billion and being just say, just say, uh, not, not 10 billion, say a hundred billion and that's your market cap and say you're $10, but say the price of the $10 stays, but the market cap goes down. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Didn't go yeah. down. The price is the same. How's the market cap going down? That, that that's, yeah. that's a reality. You know what I mean? And, and that's that's one thing that I always said that when we're looking at market caps, you don't really have to worry too much about that. This thing could be worth a hundred million in market cap. 
it, it doesn't matter that's worth 100 million market cap. It's just that there might be such a low amount and the circulating supply might be just a low amount of in general. And we yeah. may only still only have maybe only be two dollars or one dollar. You know what I'm saying? But not not that low. But you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I, crazy, man. And, you know, Brock had said like his game is fun. Like there were hundreds of matches played yesterday. But, you know, his game is fun. And he said that his game pales in comparison to what's coming. And I don't think he was talking about Epico Regal. I think he might know what the third game is or he might have some inkling as to, like, maybe the burn mechanics that Reese was talking about. Well, that OEP article comes out. Yeah, are you, uh, So I'm going to put in I, – I don't have enough in the app anymore. It used to be worth, you know, $50,000, and now when he's gone down, it's not. Um, I might do that on my girl. If we're getting stuff like, hey, for the $50,000 staking tier for Omi, you can get like, you know, let's say a blue, uh, a blue cape for your Todd, or you can get like a, you know, a, you know, some type of golden, uh, whatever, like a variant. Um, I would you totally mean go an accessory that you can add to the NFTs. Yeah. Like, and then you can know, like, like Spider-Man could shoot out like a golden web or, or Superman could put a, a platinum coat, a cape on or something like that. You're talking about something like that. Yeah. Maybe to get black suit Superman that like, if we're able to do that, I'll, I'll go, I'll send a bunch of Omi to my girlfriend's account. I'll be like, Hey, listen, <laughs> I'm just going to get some of these. Just play uh, around. Yeah. Just, you know, just to the, get... the actual, I mean, even like the, um, the uh, alligator, uh, like the Lokis, you know, they could be gold plated horns, you know what I'm saying? Or something like crazy. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? Granite, you know, some kind of a, uh, carbon fiber, you know, horn or something. They could, they could yeah. make a century. I mean, that, this is having fun. Listen, the utility is going to make sense when we can actually start playing and the gamification comes in. And that's where, uh, that's where I'm excited. And that's what I want to say. I mean, the metaverse, the metaverse, you know, VB versus VB verse. But when, when we start getting into gamification, that's, that's important because there's going to be, there's going to be tight burns that are, uh, are going to be associated with it. And there's going to be incentives. And, you know, the play to earn is that, you know, the PDE is, is a huge market right now. It's huge. And it's, it's, it's starting to grow a little bit more faster. There's more games coming out. And this PDE thing is like starting to like run. It's There's more developers like, you know, developing. It's, it's, it's running wild right now. Yeah. Um, like, like yeah. gaming companies know that, you know, people buy a game, they buy it once and, and games cost so much to make. But, you know, if you, if you have these digital collectibles that you could buy over and over and over again and you get a piece of each of them, the, these gaming companies are going to have everything be NFTs because they can get a piece of each one that they sell and that's people why, don't just buy one. That, that's why, like, even, like, games like Fortnite and these other bigger games, even Minecraft and stuff, you know, they have the huge following and, and, and it's growing. And so, like, like when I see, like, the actual, like, store, you go to the actual, you know, the, the uh, uh, inside and you're at the store for, like, you know um, – any accessories, any, um, um, what do you call the, uh, not accessories. The, the cards? Like, no, no, no. The, huh? The skins? Skin, skins, yeah. yeah. And like you change, you know, and so the characters change and you do different things. And obviously when you reach different milestones, then they give them, you get them for free and you get bonuses and stuff. Yeah. But um, when, when you're able to take a, um, an actual like NFT, like an, an actual NFT accessory and apply it into the actual game, you know, and where the the rarity of that, how that comes and maybe the lower the mint number, maybe the stronger you get and more power you get because you have it's not just, you know, there's other incentives for having low mint numbers. It's just not necessarily it don't matter the mint number you got as long as you have that NFT, you can apply that hat or that sword or that lightsaber or that car. You know, maybe, you know, maybe the lower the mint number you have, maybe you have a faster car. You know what I mean? You have a fast, you have a low mint ecto. Maybe it's, it's just a fast. It's fast. Or maybe it's got more juice when you when you're going to you know kill a ghost or something. I'm just, you know, I'm just making points up, you know, different, they can connect it differently, you know, based on the um, development. Yeah. If we were to get that, like, let's say we get something for Star Wars. If we were to get like a Slave Leia costume, I would commit like sin and put the Slave Leia costume on Vader just to see what it looks like. <laughs> Piss off all the nerds. For your, you, got, you got cosplay, cosplaying. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Wait, oh, so on the, on the fish battles, like, have, have you played a match yet? I didn't, man. I honestly, I, I haven't even uh, gotten into it yet. I, I really, I, to tell you the truth, I haven't really had the time to like really get into it, like get into it. Yeah. Um, I, I have the, the the Regal download. I got that, but I, I have That's fine. Yeah, I just hit battle and I, I put the phone in my pocket. I didn't, I didn't even play it. I, honestly, I just, I'm just like, I, I really need some time to get into it. And, and the stuff like this where I'm like possibly going to put some Omi in or some investment into it or whatever just to play around. I like to like know all what I'm doing. You know, I don't want to just throw it in and say, hey, whatever. You know, um, but 
whatever. I, you know, I'm, I would like to formally invite you to something that I'm that I'm thinking of called like the Chavez games or the Randy games, where we go and we take in a series of wagers on the because you're gonna be able to wager as soon as it opens. Would you like to take like a Friday night live stream and just be like, okay, I bet you a thousand on me on this match, and then we go I, I, as soon as we're able to. Well, live stream it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, whatever you want to do, we, we could we'll battle. Okay. We, we, we fight for money. Basically, we fight and we're putting Omi up, right? Or and yeah, just, yeah, and and we could do this before he allows it. The wagers, you know, while it's still in beta, or we could do it as soon as. That's fine. I, I, I'm I'm down with it. I just got to get into it a little bit. So once I you know get a little more familiar with it, and you know see maybe you know have some <laughs> some practice like in the in the gym. Um, <laughs> talk about wagers. I got I got to send you the. Uh, you want to make an announcement that you officially won the um, the, the the actual wager. Um, Totally, totally. Um, I think Pags was pretty close on this because of again that Japanese Discord and then follow, you know and the and the cards on David's use uh, thing. The bet was that by yesterday, uh, if if they had announced that they had Pokemon, that he would have won twenty thousand Omi. But if they didn't by midnight, you know, this morning, uh, then I would have won. So I did win that twenty thousand Omi. I think I sent you my uh, I sent you the layer two, the one that was on the app. So and not that twenty thousand dollars worth of Omi. No, no, just twenty thousand Omi. <laughs> not twenty thousand. Let them know. Yeah, just twenty thousand Omi. Yeah, which at some point will probably be worth twenty thousand dollars. I'll, uh, you know, next next several years. Whatever, we'll whatever it is, it's it's. Listen, there's people that don't have any Omi right now, man. There's people who wish they had Omi. There's people that wish they had the opportunity to have an NFT. I mean, you know, we're we're so blessed and we have so much. You know, what I mean, we yeah. talk about throwing around twenty thousand. Eh, hey, whatever. Yeah. That to, it's 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 that's to a lot of people that's you know a dream. So I, yeah. I take that in, in that in a humble sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, like we uh, we made our gamble, uh, uh, or a little bet and wager, and I lost, and now I got to pay, and I'm a day late. Don't hit me with juice, man. You know, <laughs> the juice payment. Um, oh, I'll be making payments to you, and I'll still owe you to twenty thousand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just just pay the minimum rate. Just pay the, yeah, just yeah, pay yeah. the interest. I'll pay, I'll pay you 50, 50 owe me a week, bro. I'll still get 20,000 two years from now. <laughs> but uh, listen, I don't mean to bust out, man. And thank you for uh, coming here. I, I have a couple things I got to do. I gotta, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of um, oh, my, yeah, day, my day, but I thank you for the invite. And uh, yes, of course. Out to everybody. Catch you later. I'll, I'll, I'll be getting uh, in touch with the comments. But yes, you have a good one. Thank you for coming thank you. on. Thank you. Dash, Catch you later. See you later. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> have a good weekend, too, by the way, man. Yeah, you too. You too. Cheers. Okay, so where was I? Uh, da, 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 da. I am. I, I. 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 There was so many comments. I had passed through a bunch of them. Let's go back uh, thirty minutes, and we'll go to fifty-two. Where was that? Eating Chipotle. Oh, dude, I can't wait. I can't wait to get Chipotle. I actually might have to go because I. I do have a podcast in another three and a half hours, and I do kind of want to eat before then. Um, immutable. Just tweeted. Oh God. Nope, nope, not that, not that. Me tending to my virtual land. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> the immutable is so funny, man. They're they're so good. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, Jeremiah Aoyang just tweeted said after I deliver a speech, I'm usually incredibly hungry and need a nap. I give all my energy in the presentation, storytelling, trying to connect to the audience. There's probably an energy drop after an adrenaline pump. Yeah, yeah, that that makes sense. There definitely is. Um, Okay, moving on. <laughs> not my culture. This small amount of owners is not a great thing. The project will live and die by the utility that keeps the community involved. I have to remain cautiously optimistic. Oh, that's the um, fat cows you guys are talking about, right? Good witch or bad witch? Uh, the uh, one I'm talking to today seems to be good. She's a veterinarian. She loves animals. Uh, what's up? Fairly odd parents. Um, Jesus is the only way. Our decision, man. Yeah, don't cry to Santeria. I ain't got no crystal ball. If I had a million dollars, I'd spend it all. So this one is pretty much fake news. There, there's no, there, the, the, the sub 40s are not being given away to celebrities as part of an in, in, uh, invisibility cloak. That would be hysterical and that'd be great, but that's not happening. Um, yeah, no, that's just a thing. That, I mean, that'd be fun if they did that. Um, yeah, I have to take a look at, at Nexo because that seems really fun. Mr. Pags would go in hard for. I mean, he already has. I, I, I think. I think he'd probably get a Vader. You know, I think. I think he'd get that. He, he might collect that set. Um, you know, the Star was one of the biggest IPs in the world. Um, 
but I mean, yeah, he's probably nerd for a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I I don't know why, but I could picture Pags as like a, yo, they got uh, uh, they they, they got Baywatch. Yo, David Hasselhoff is mine. Like I gu- guarantee you, Pags would be like, oh, David Hasselhoff first appearance. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, oh, of course, it reminded me of that song. Um, we're an accredited investor. That's people like who have the assets. Take over to entertain. Like viewers. Oh, maybe yeah. This is Brony. I am totally a Brony. I would totally do. Dude, first appearance, Rainbow Dash. Be 20% cooler. Oh, God. Um, Twilight's okay. Applejack's cool. Um, Rarity has some really good character arc. You know, Fluttershy is just too shy. Uh, Pinkie Pie is hysterical. I love Pinkie Pie. She fought Deadpool in um, uh, Death Battle. Uh, that was great. You know, it breaks before, uh, anyone that breaks the fourth wall is really cool. Um, yeah, 7,000 gems. I, I, I would take that just because I'm... Um, I'm a degenerate, and I would just be, you know, buying a bunch of stuff. Um, um, yeah, that's your answer. It's 175 gay. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally like oh, 69 gay. Um, this thing sounds for every single celebrity on the planet. I was under Adventure BB, it was Fred Durst, the Men in Black showed up. He's gone dark. <laughs> All right, he didn't get dark, but actually, let me leave that up for a sec. Let, let's take a look at Fred Durst. Um, Fred Durst. I mean, he didn't. He didn't go and uh, and not uh, like he didn't delete his Twitter or anything. Um, he has a actually. He hasn't posted since January. Maybe there's something to this. I I mean, but that I think he just might have. It's not that he's posting other stuff and and he's just leaving VV conspicuously absent. He just didn't post um he hasn't posted anything in general um oh no he has been posting in march there's just no actual tweets he's just commenting on on other stuff um fix anytime soon he might have just got frustrated as well as it says that um yeah doesn't have the cash out so i think i think he just might be waiting for cash out and then he'll come back uh for that when the account did not get unlocked, potentially, I, I mean, I don't, it, yeah, if they have those, because a lot of those uh, things in the account, a lot of collectibles in there because they were bad actors and they were using a bunch of bots, totally possible. Um, I, I, I think that those people could read the writing on the wall and they could be like, oh, hey, it looks like they're about to crack down on bots. And you could have said this like like months ago, but like, I might as well stop using bots now. I might as well go and be like, yeah, this is not, uh, um, you know, I might as well transfer everything to, to one account, you know, and, 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 and not use bots on this account. I, I think that's very possible. Um, I, I don't think any of these guys that are really into this couldn't read the writing on the wall that they were about to do something. So I, I, I think that most of these guys, they're, they're legit, uh, or all of them probably. Every job since the bot three is nice. Get my first second. So amazing. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah. Pax probably wants that. I mean, I mean, everyone wants it. Everyone wants it. Um, I can't believe this happened. I'm holding both. Yeah, dude. I'm good for you, mate. Yeah, the first drop. Uh, no worries. Randy rules over his chest. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think the. I'll, I'll show you the message I sent him. Let's take a look. See. Honestly, even if he got back to me, I don't. I don't even think that I would have even seen it. Yeah, it was like, I was like, "Hey, brother, love everything you do. I do anything for you. I have to know what Pokemon card was in the background of the most recent video. Killing me not knowing. I won't tell anyone if you don't want me to." Um, and he hasn't responded yet, but maybe, maybe one day. Bitcoin did go up to thirty-seven, but yeah, it was thirty-six point eight-ish for a while. Um, I'm see my real estate agent else. I want him to help me buy land in the universe. Yeah, well, get get me on that. Yeah, see where Spider Man partner. I wouldn't say Todd. I would probably say. I mean, if we're just doing statues of collectibles, and we're not doing, I mean, if we're doing comics, then you got uh, MC One, Fantastic Four number one, Fantastic Four number five. You know, you got you got a bunch. You know, probably you know, Strange Tales tomorrow. Um, but if just collectibles. 
hard. Um, you know, the Ultra and Spider Man is really good. Riso is good. Todd's definitely. Riso didn't drop as much as the top, though. There's not as many Riso. There's a lot of Todd. It's hard to say. That's hard to say. Love you, Randy. See what he did there. Oh, David, give it. <laughs> number one. I don't know what they do with that stuff. Um, pushing the Naruto one drop of the Ash Missy 3D models like Electra. I don't know. So Brock is actually one of my favorites because he he's Pokemon nutritionist. He's a Pokemon breeder. He just I yeah. Um, I love that he got to work with Professor Ivy. He got to work with all these amazing professors. Um, and he's one of the only brown people that's in cartoons. So that worked. Yeah, by all. Yeah, he said flip Ethereum. I don't. I don't know, man. I I, I don't. I, maybe it was smoke. I don't know. That's, that's so interesting. Down, 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 down. Or the Pokemon AR game that looks kind of like Pokemon Go. Imagine they have Omi in a Pokemon game. The burn on that would be so amazing. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Mr. Pat. Yeah, it was fun to have him on. Uh, with Pokemon functions, Pokemon Bank, transfer Pokemon between generations lends itself perfectly to NFTs. It would be an interesting switch. I agree. What's going on? NFT fights would be illegal in the metaverse. No way. No way. Cut off. I don't know what he said. Cut off. You done good, Hasselhoff. Done good. Oh, dude, Yu Gi Oh would be great as well. Um, I played the Duel Links, and it's okay. It, it's just on, on so many of those Yu Gi Oh things. There's so many cards. I'd be like, you know, you could have a deck where you make like 30, 30 moves in, in one turn. They're like, oh, this lets me activate this, which lets me you know, sacrifice this. I could draw three more cards. I could play this, which allows me to sacrifice this. And I can draw five more cards. And Exodia, blah, you know, like there's, it's just, you know, um, yeah. I feel about a Pokemon themed poker game, or casino, you can bet on the player winning hand in Pokemon. Oh, dude, that would be amazing. Dude, poke. The po and what I love about Pokemon, it's a lot of skill, but it's also a lot of luck. It's, it's the draw of the cards. Believe in the heart of the card. No, not like Yu-Gi-Oh, but but yeah, it, it's um, the card game is is a bit of luck as well. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get one also. Getting low mint. Yeah, no, not happening. I know a fish and Epico is a game for Burn. Is there another one? You know, I, I there is another one. I don't know what it's about though. I they're keeping it really tight under wraps. And you would DBZ non to yeah. Oh yeah. Dueling for Omi. We are. I can't wait to have uh to battle pags with that. Um not nah, again, like you know, I am a hundred percent on board with Dragon Ball Z. That is the Royal Saiyan crest. Don't at me. Airport, people watching. I've seen so much IP by Disney, Marvel, these Lord of the Rings. Not one board ape yet. Hmm. Well, R2, oh, R2 is really good as well. Yeah, R2 is definitely something that's going to be huge. forgot about that. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments good for the YouTube algorithm. Check back in at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so I interview Dr. Amanda Doran. It'll be great. I love you guys. Bye. Yeah.